when it comes to AI, uh, you obviously are in the midst of it, as we talked about, whether we're talking about data centers or we're talking about the, the next evolution of the PC market, how you want to land that message from a marketing perspective, from a branding perspective, because AI is still really hard for your general consumer to understand. And I think I even argue that it's harder to understand the value that comes from the hardware versus the software and the applications that run AI, right? And distinguish right. where is the value coming from? How yeah. do they relate to you? So I think if you sort of, we, and we follow obviously the AI space, like most other technology companies very, very closely and, and, lot, and lots it's changing. And if you sort of look at AI, and I would say, you know, probably in 10 years, AI will be as pervasive as water. But, uh, you know, and I believe that AI will be everywhere, whether it's in the cloud, whether it's in the edge. And so if you look at ARM, and you look at where we sit, we really span across cloud to edge. Yeah, you're AI agnostic in that respect. Exactly. And, you know, if you sort of think about uh, the foundation models, which is sort of how you then build your uh, frontier models, which then you build your agentic AI, et cetera, et cetera, and you do inference based on that. The foundational models all have ARM because most of that is being trained on NVIDIA's accelerators paired with an ARM CPU. And then if you think about inference, most of that is happening on ARM-based devices, whether it's your phone, which you know there's a bunch of AI capabilities, we talked about wearables like Meta glasses. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, everything from a uh, device standpoint, eventually over time will be AI enabled and has to run on some compute platform somewhere. And that compute platform will likely be ARM just wow. because of the breadth of our platform. So we believe that we are enabling AI everywhere. And that's why I say the future of AI will be built on ARM because it's almost impossible to interact with a connected device without being ARM in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, and I think that you mentioned earlier the power constraint part of right. the future that we have, but there's also, it's not just about constraint, it's actually efficiency as well, because if we're thinking about sustainability and we really care about the future of our planet, um, that is something that has to remain top of mind for people. Mm -hmm.